Hello and welcome to this tutorial. We're going to be using Adobe After Effects CS5. Uh, should work fine in CS4, perhaps even CS3, I'm not sure. But um, we're going to be creating a Twinkling Star uh, little project I'm working on for a children's play. It's going to be going on in the background. So uh, let's jump right in. We're going to go up to Composition, New Composition. And since I know the screen size is going to be played on, it's not widescreen, so I'm going to do the 4 to 3. Uh, 1024 by 768 is going to work great. Frame rate 23.976 is just fine. Duration 15 seconds because I'm just going to have it loop. Um, come down here, right click, new, solid. You can also come up to layer, new, solid. Either way. Um, make comp size, it's going to match it to your screen already. It doesn't matter the color because it's fixing the change. If you select on the layer, hit the enter or return key, you can rename it. We're going to name this uh, background stars. Okay. Now over here in our effects and presets little panel, uh, CC particle world, you can just type in here whatever you want and you know part of the word it's going to pop up so we're going to take that and drag it over onto the screen we have a lot of uh, uh, changes to make to this before it's going to look like twinkling stars because that's, that's what it's doing right now so first we want to go to the grid turn that off go to producer let's change the X, Y, and Z radius. We're going to crank this up to about, let's go 0.8. Looks like it's going to be more than plenty. Do the same on Y, same on Z. And one, I'm going to go to physics, turn off velocity, just zero it out. Same with gravity, go to zero. Particle, let's make it a star. Let's see what we have so far. Okay, we're getting close. Those are insanely huge twinkling stars. Uh, so let's make the birth size 0 0.05. And also the death size 0 0.05. The size variation you can adjust that if you'd like just give you some random sizes in there I think uh, 50 percent is just fine for what I'm doing here the color let's change the birth color it's gonna be born at white I want it to, to, to die off at maybe a kind of a soft blue Okay, that's getting that's getting a lot better. But they're dying off a little too quick, so go to our longevity. We're gonna make it two seconds. That way they hang around just a little bit longer. But we have way too many stars on the screen, so I'm gonna take the birth rate down to let's try point five. That's better. Okay, I think we're set there. So now we need to make a new layer, solid. Go ahead and name it here. Um, Twinkle. We're going to be using a plugin by uh, Video Copilot called Optical Flares. It's an awesome plugin. Go to options. We're going to change a few things about this um, this flare, this uh, lens flare. We're going to go to the spike ball down here, and select it. Now we don't want all this extra stuff going on here, coming off the side. So we're going to just turn those off. That way we just have this this one main flare. So we'll go down to to the one that this brighter one here, and bring the brightness down to maybe around 
40. Let's try that. Hit OK. That's, that looks all right. Center that up. Now you notice we can't see the the background stars anymore. They're being covered up by this this uh, this new layer. So if we go to to our our uh, mode here and click uh, select Add, now they shine right through. You could leave it at that, and that'd probably be okay. But I want to I want to give this little flare, this uh, our our twinkle star, our main star. I want to make it twinkle. So hit these little drop downs. Go to optical flare. Select brightness. What we're going to do is hold down Alt and select the stopwatch. It's going to bring up the expressions. We're going to type a very simple one. Wiggle open parentheses. Now this next number you put in here is how many times per second this this function this expression will take place. We're going to say 5 comma this next number here is going to for instance we have brightness we can put 20 and it's going to at the most adjust the brightness plus or minus 20 and it's going to do that 5 times a second if you had this expression on uh, position, for instance, it would move the position of your of your layer five times per second at a max of twenty pixels. Either way, so just uh, in parentheses, hit enter, and there you have it. You have a twinkling star. Let me render this out. There it is. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something. Uh, see you next time.